Hey guys, I got something really cool to show you. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, if you're anything like me and you really like your power stations, today is a special day because I'm going to introduce you to the brand new Ugreen Power Roam 2200 portable power station. Say that three times fast. Da -pa 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 -pa. Anyways, let's get right on it with all the features that this power pack has to offer. First off, this pack has unrivaled fast charging technology. With the power zip technology, this pack can charge itself in 1.5 hours through a number of different ways. You can charge it using your AC in your house, you can charge it with solar, and you can also charge it by the cigarette lighter adapter on your car. With the Ugreen, you can power up to 99% of all devices. It has 16 different outlets that you can plug stuff into. It has 2000 watt hours of storage capacity. It can run at 2200 watt devices. It also has a U-Turbo proprietary function that allows you to power higher drain devices than 2200 watts for a short period of time. So if you have, you know, a really high powerful blender or let's say a wet you know, electric quick cut saw that you need to power up, this thing will allow you to do it using its U-Turbo feature. With reliable EV rated battery, the LifePo 4 battery, it allows you to charge this pack up to 3,000 different times and discharge it before it drops below the 80% charging capacity, which offers a really long lifetime for this battery. So it be becomes very cost effective. And did I mention it also has a five year warranty? That's six times more cycled than the industry average, which at the end of the day, makes it more cost efficient. The Ugreen pack is also expandable, meaning you can start with a two kilowatt hour pack and then you can add five more packs. You can actually sextuple the mass quantity of power you can use. It'll give you all the way up to 12 kilowatt hours of power by adding extra batteries as you go. So if you start off and you determine you need more power, you can always add extra batteries as you go. One of my favorite features of the Ugreen Power Roam Pack is its detachable trolley. It has four wheels on the base, which allows it to roll around sort of like a trolley. And uh, you can lock the wheels so when you don't want it to roll around, it doesn't roll around. And it works kind of like a uh, dolly on a piece of um, luggage, wheeling it through the airport or a uh, like a little one of those little wheelie shopping carts. It is very easily movable, which is a real big plus because the thing is not the lightest, but it trades off that with the fact that it can actually move around really easily with the wheels. With the Ugreen, there's more ports for more possibilities. There's even that special Anderson port that you need to hook up your RV. It's essentially plug and play. You just plug your RV and away you go. So more ports equals more possibilities. You just, you know, plug it in and go. With the smart app control, you can control this entire pack from your phone. You download the app from the app store, your favorite you know, Apple store and you download the app and it allows you to access some of the hidden features that are with this pack, like quiet mode or child lock. You can also monitor the packs uh, charging progress throughout the day. If you have a solar setup hooked up to it, you can see how much it's taking in. You can also see how much load is drawing from the pack, but that's a really cool option to have is having the app integrated in with the power pack. The Ugreen pack also doubles as a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply in under 20 milliseconds of time. So if you're not using it off grid and you're you know, powering your computer or your sensitive devices, you can plug this into the wall and then plug your devices into this. And then in the event of a power outage, this thing will actually kick on before your electronics notice and ensure that they don't turn off when you're doing something important. All right, now that we've done that, we can take you through a little bit of a tour of this pack. So. We start off over on this side over here, it's got a light. Now this light's actually pretty cool because it works even if the pack is zero. So in the event of an emergency and your pack is at zero, it's gonna blink now, so it's careful. So you got your SOS and then you got your slow blink. So if you need to signal an airplane or something like that, you're in a remote location, you can turn that thing off, point it towards the sky. It'll still work when the pack is a zero, which is a really neat feature to have in the case of emergency. You work where over here, you've got your USB ports, which are your high drain devices, like your iPads or even your iPhones, stuff like that. It's got the 140 watt USB C port. It's got a 100 watt USB C port. It's got a 45, actually two 45 watt USB C ports. It's got the USB A ports for those devices, 22.5 watts. It allows you to do it. Then it has the ever popular Anderson port, which allows you to plug in your RVs, which is right here. It also has your eight millimeter uh, DC outlet here and your legacy cigarette lighter adapter right here. I don't have any fingernails. I cannot open it. 
You'll have to believe me. It's right here. I got it. It's too, it's too new. Can I open it? I promise you it's there. I probably shouldn't chew my fingers. All right, let's get it open. Uh. All right, there we go. It's there. I promise you it's there. All right, so that's that's that guy there. There's the on and off for the uh, inverter, which is your DC button. You got your on button for your power, and then your uh, to link it to you, the app. It's this little button over here on the side. And see how easily that thing rolls? That's the really cool dolly that's on this thing. All right, so over here, we have your AC outlets. It gives you six of them. They're, they're allowed to 2,200 watts a piece. You turn on your inverter, your inverter, your pure sign inverter turns on, allows you to plug in all the devices there. You spin this guy around just like that. I really like those wheels. All right, so here we have the ways to charge it. We have a dual input for your solar connection. We also have e expansion battery. So if you wanna stack these guys up, like I said, you can add five additional packs to this thing to get you up to 12 kilowatt hours of power. It has the AC adapter, which is right here. You can plug it into your wall. It allows you to charge this device in about an hour and a half, which is a crazy cool. And uh, you have your earth screw for a more permanent application and your overdrive protection button, which allows you to reset the pack in the event that you uh, basically overload it. Um, yeah, so, and I said before, this thing has the craziest wheels. You can also lock them so it's, it doesn't roll around just like that. So it doesn't spin and, uh, Oh yeah, okay, so here, we got the thing. We can do like a loop-de-loop. -loop. We can dance with this bad boy. And the other thing, uh, which is the, the handle, allows you to go up and down. You pull this guy out and it allows you to basically move it around like a shopping cart, which is very, very, very cool. And uh, it's detachable from the base. So if you want a more permanent application, you don't want wheels on the thing, you can actually just remove it from the wheels, which is also a really nice feature. And there's one more feature. I'm just gonna go grab it. I'll be right back. So I don't know if they were thinking about me when they designed this pack, but it comes with one of these. And what this is, is the dust filter. And allows you to put on here, you just kind of get it in place and you push it on and it allows you to keep the majority of the dust out of the inverter when actually when it's high drain devices. Because I think when you're using this to pack as a, a high drain sort of power pack, you're gonna get involved in some dusty situations. So I think that's a very neat feature. It allows the uh, thing to be protected and then you can take it off and you clean it and then just pop it back on, which is a really neat feature for if you're using this for sort of construction and uh, renovation sort of stuff that I do. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna talk about a little bit what comes in the box because I think that's important. Well, first off, we got the five year warranty card. It gives you 1-800 number on the back and if you need to call for service, they're right there, depending on which geographical location you are when you buy this pack. The other things it comes with is this. This is the AC charging cord, which allows you to plug it into your wall and charge the pack. It comes with this guy, which is the MC4 connector, which allows you to essentially plug any type of solar panel into this pack. It's an adapter, which allows you to plug this guy into this guy. This guy goes into the pack and this guy goes into your solar panels. It also comes with your eight millimeter port, which is your DC adapter. It comes with your cigarette lighter adapter, which allows you to plug it into your car and plug it in back into the pack, which allows you to charge it through your car. It also comes with an adapter to uh, use, uh, take advantage of your T-slot adapter on your 20 amps. And uh, this guy here, which is, um, I don't even know what port this is. It looks like an RV port which allows you to uh, to plug that guy in, which is uh, is actually quite uh, considerate of them to include that. Sometimes they charge extra for those, and that's what it comes. It also comes with this guy, which is a splitter port, which allows you to plug in a number of solar panels into the pack at the same time. It also comes with its own raincoat, which allows you to kind of put your pack away, and it's all tailored just like that. It fits perfectly. It's got the little drawstring at the bottom, which allows you to put it away, keep the dust off of it when you're putting it in storage. And you can also get the handle at the back, which is kind of cool as well. So they pretty much thought of everything when they included this. So we've got the pack inside this, the A-frame cabin, and I'm going to plug it in. And this is going to allow me to power every outlet in this cabin. So there we go. We got our lights hooked on. What are we using? We're using, does it even show? We're using uh, 75 watts, which allows me to power up the entire cabin, that's pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna plug some other high drain devices into this thing just to see how well it works. But as you can see, it rolls around really conveniently. 
and uh, let's get some stuff rocking. Okay, just for a uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to disconnect this pack from the trolley. So I'm just gonna unplug my lights for a second. Basically what you do is you pull this, there's a back, there's a lever at the back, here, and you pull that off, and then you fold this guy down, which allows you to actually take the pack off of the trolley, so a more permanent application, and then you can move your trolley away. So when you want to move it around, you can. So we can just plug that thing back, back in. All right. And then what I'm gonna do actually, I'm going to move this guy a little bit back here. This thing weighs about 50 pounds, which is, it's pretty good for uh, the size of it and the, uh, the capacity. So here, we're gonna take one of the highest strain devices we could think of, which is a catalog. I'm gonna make myself a little cup of tea. We got our inverter is on. We are going to turn this thing on. A pretty good test of any kind of power pack is to use a kettle because kettles are essentially the highest drain devices you can pretty much imagine. Um, this thing using probably like 1800, 1900 watts. So here we got uh, ourselves a nice, there we got some water in there. Turn that guy on, turn it on. What do we want? We want to boil. I'm gonna go to 90 Celsius because that's a nice cool temperature for my cup, my, my metal cup that really retains the heat and uh, tries to burn me a lot of the time. So I don't really want to boil that water. So we're going to go to 90 degrees and uh, we're going to have a cup of tea, which, where is my tea? I got to find my tea. I think one of the best things about having a portable power station is the, the ability to pretty much go anywhere and still have your modern conveniences and amenities that you uh, have come to kind of expect and, uh, you know, count on. So in the event of a power outage, you know, you're just like anybody else that has all the power and the tea and the coffee. I can show you the 200 watt solar panel. Here it is, thing unfolds. It's got a couple of clips, some rare earth magnets holding it together so it's easily foldable. And then it's got the clips here, which you allow it to pull it right off. And then what's really neat about these panels is they're self-supporting. They have these little feet that kind of fold out the back here. So what you do is you put this thing like this. You can set it up to one person. You get your little your retractable feet folded out. And it allows you to set it up just like this. And there you go. You can hook it up to your pack. So when it's sunny, you can collect all the solar you want. The other little neat thing about it is it has a, uh, like a orient device over here that allows you to position it exactly pointing the sun so when the shadow is cast from the dot into the little circle it shows you that you're pointing the solar panels in the right direction one of the great things about having a portable battery pack is the ability to turn any of your corded tools into cordless tools so they really haven't designed a really awesome battery powered vacuum cleaner so what i like to do is actually take my corded vacuum cleaner this is just a rigid vacuum cleaner they do take a lot of power and uh, what i like to do is actually just plug it in and then i can use my vacuum cleaner whether it you know use it as a leaf blower or you know in the opposite way as an actual vacuum cleaner and suck up all the debris i just basically take it with my power pack i plug it in and it seemingly works just like it would, you know, plugged into the wall at home. Can you guys see me even? Let's see. Plug that guy in on the low setting and... I want to show you guys a little bit of an art project I've been working on. So what I've been doing is taking these round rocks and uh, essentially cutting a, a flat spot in them. And uh, prior to this sort of, you know, the advent of electric quick cut saws and uh, the ability to power them in a remote location, I was using a gas powered quick cut, which uh, as you guys know is, uh, well, they're unreliable. You can't start them and uh, they stink. They got like two stroke gas and like you don't use them enough and then they don't work. Anyways, that's the kind of the story behind generators and, uh, and you know, the noise and the stink and when you really need them, they just don't work because the carburetor is all plugged. That's the kind of benefit of having a power pack is that it's there when you need the power and uh, use it. So anyways, 
long story short is I've been taking rocks and I've been flattening them out. So let's uh, give the U green a uh, little run for the money. So the idea is to take a, uh, a, uh, a quick cut saw, essentially a, a, an electric one and cut this rock. So there's a flat spot for this to actually sit up flat. And then I'm going to drill a hole on the top of it, which allows me to put wherever the heck I want into it. And in this case, it's going to be a nice piece of wood, kind of like a display thing. So let's see how well this thing fares. So there we go, we got our rock, our quick cut, earmuffs, safety glasses, plug her in. Butter. Pretty cool. All right, then what I do is I take my angle grinder. Again, this is a corded angle grinder, Makita version, and I've got uh, my Diablo uh, diamond tipped grinder wheel, and that's gonna allow me to basically sand the bottom of this rock smooth so it'll sit flat. Peaks out around 800 watts. The uh, the quick cut actually was running at 20 2100 watts. I couldn't stop and film that, but uh, yeah, 2100 watts doing that. So let's do this and see if we can smooth it out. We got our smooth, smooth rock. Now we just gotta drill a hole in it and we've got our display stand. Now this is, this is kind of like an ideal little project if you like to collect rocks like I do. <laughs> Gives you kind of purpose for the rocks and uh, it's really, you know, the base product's a rock. All right, let's, uh, let's drill a hole in it. Okay, so once I've got this kind of shape done, what I do is I'm looking for a sort of a minimalist piece of uh, driftwood or a, uh, a stump. And then what that allows it to do is kind of like hold it up because this is a really big, heavy piece of uh, material. I just got to shape that a little bit more. And what it's going to do is actually going to be a jewelry holder for my daughter. So as you can see, I just got to straighten it out. So it's got like a long, piece like that and then you can dangle stuff off of the what looks like antlers you could also use an antler or a deer shed and uh, sort of have it because this thing weighs probably 15 pounds or more so it's very stable base just got to straighten it out just a little bit and uh yeah just like that that's pretty cool One of the good things about having a battery pack is never really being stuck with your car because your battery goes dead. Like I left the lights on. I happen to have the battery pack. The charger always kind of lives in this Jeep anyways because they leave the lights on and it, uh, it doesn't work anymore. So I've got the uh, battery charger plugged into the U-Green pack. I've got the, the, the leads hooked onto the battery of the car and hopefully this uh, starts. Otherwise I'm staying here tonight, which wouldn't be the worst thing, but uh, yeah, I kind of want to go home. Let's uh, hopefully it starts. Yeah. All right, that's good news. Good news. No. Nope. Oh. I should have turned that off. All right, we're ready to go. Well, another great reason to have backup power is uh, in the event of inclement weather and the power goes out, 
chances are it's raining and when it rains sometimes your basement floods and when there's no power your sump pump doesn't work so this is a big one for me is that uh, a lot of the times during the winter time what'll happen is it'll be a crazy ice storm it'll knock out all the power it's raining it's warm outside all of the snow is melting off and the uh the basement's starting to fill up and if you don't have a battery on your sump pump you're gonna have a bad day. So what you can do with this guy is if you plug it in, you can store your power in the event that you need it when the power is off. So we're just gonna demonstrate that for you here with this, uh, it's a one third of a horsepower Myers submersible pump, and I'm gonna throw it in the pond, plug it in, and I'm gonna actually take a look at the side of the pack to determine how long this thing will run. So let's do that now. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna plug it in so I don't lose my end in the pond. It'll hold it. I don't have the inverter on right now, so we'll just plug that thing in. I'm gonna hopefully make it down to the pond with the cord, get it into the pond without rolling the whole pack into the pond. Let's see if we can get it in the pond. Let's go right here. Oh, she's, she's almost too short. I think it's gonna make it. All right, so we got the pond. We got her all in there. We're gonna turn the inverter on. Got her on. We're gonna wait for the pump to kick on. Pump's kicking on. You can hear it running. Wait for water, wait for water. Can a pump run on its side? I don't know, let's see. Hopefully, hopefully the submersible pump will run on its side. Sounds like it's running. It's filling the hose, I can hear it. Come on, pump. Maybe it can't run on its side. All right, the technical difficulties was the hose was kinked. <laughs> that was easy fix. All right, so we've got our, our garden hose size uh, pump running we could actually have two inch pipe on this guy no problem so if i'm looking at the uh, the draw on this guy it is uh it's running at 462 watts so that's a pump running continuously pumping a significant amount of water and uh this pack says it'll run at this rate for three and a half hours at uh we're all, we're 88 percent charged because i did do a little bit of other things so at 100%, this pack would run for a significant amount of time running your sump pump in the event that the power goes out and, uh, well, you're sinking. You start to be up to your teeth in water. It's, uh, it's, a good, it's a good backup to have. It's good insurance to have the power pack on hand in the event that you need to run a sump pump. And I'll tell you this much, it's, it's good to have it. It's good to have it and not need it, then need it and not have it for sure, anyway. Down at the pond, this actually fills up the uh, the uh, wood-fired hot tub and the uh, the pool. So this guy, no problem running that. It's uh, yeah, no problem filling up the pool or the hot tub. Well, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the Ugreen Power Roam 2200 portable power pack. It's been uh, quite the adventure testing these out with all the additional features that it has. It's a pretty cool power pack. So if you're looking for a great portable power pack, you can check a link in the description below. You can head on to their website and pick your very own power pack today. This thing will power 99% of all your devices and it's better to have it and not need it than need it, not have it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.